Hey guys, Electro Ninja here, and welcome back to Electro Ninja's Lab. In today's video, we are going to be talking about our first of our Greek Zodiac Miraculouses, Libra. Now, Libra is probably my favorite character that I personally have ever designed. So, yeah. Obviously, I haven't drawn what he or she is going to look like, nor have I gotten everything straight away, but this is what I would love to see when we eventually get the Libra Miraculous. First of all, what exactly is Libra's task? Now, in any normal case, Libra is depicted as just being a scale, uh, like one of those old-timey scales with the two weights and stuff, and you put the weights on and you put whatever it is that you're doing, and then you put on each weight until it gets perfect, and then you find out the exact weight. That's what the intention was for, um, for, that's the symbol for Libra, okay? Now, why exactly do I want to, is Libra my favorite? Well, quite simply because I don't think that Libra's task, when we finally get that miraculous, is going to necessarily be about the idea of the weighing. Because, let's be honest, that's a lame power for anyone to, uh, for anyone to have. But, there is something that has a lot to do with the Libra with the Libra, with Libra, and that is, or the scale, and that is justice, specifically Lady Justice. Lady Justice is always depicted with two things. One, she is blind, so no seeing because justice is blind, and also a scale to perfectly weigh your sins and all that jazz. Your sins versus your good deeds or whatever. That's that's kind of what Lady Justice is depicted by. Okay? And that is something that I think is a great idea for us to eventually get as a miraculous character. And what I'm picturing is that Libra has the... Uh, whoever gets the Libra Miraculous... Um, the Kwame would probably have, like, scales on, uh, in, uh, for her ears instead, or something, or something like that, or maybe they carry around the weights, like the frickin' fairy tale character. But, as for the character themselves, they will be a blind character, because Justice is blind, so they can't see at all, and they have to, and... That's an awesome character, just to be honest. That's something that is often considered a challenge to people. Making a blind character. It's so challenging, in fact, that there's only really two characters that come to mind automatically when I think of a blind character. Those being Toph from Avatar and Daredevil, the Marvel character. And that's it. Nobody else. You don't think of anybody else. But they're some of the most interesting characters that exist. One of the reasons why one of my characters in the future is going to be a blind character in my books. Which, that's going to be a lot of fun. But here's the other thing. What, uh, what do the Miraculous look like? And I'm thinking earrings. Mostly because of the fact that there's not much else that would work well with the idea of Libra. Like, maybe something with the symbol, uh, with the Libra symbol, which basically it just looks like an Omega with a whole line underneath it. But, I don't really see that as working as well as two earrings, each one having a scale on the bottom. And to anybody else, it would just look like some cool earrings, which, if it's on a guy, then obviously we're going to see some issues, but uh, some people are going to be confused, but... For a girl, it's just, oh, cool, some long earrings. Not that surprising. But we will know because of the fact of what they look like, and it will be really cool. Now, the outfit. 
I'm imagining something a little bit different from most of the other outfits. Now, obviously, for most of the outfits, they're skin tight and stuff like that. But the thing is that I would like to see Libra actually having a cloak. Um, and the cloak changes depending on how they're going to be fighting. But we'll see exactly what happens once we get there. Um, but the weapon is actually a scale. But not just a scale because of the fact that it's part of the power. When they use their power, the power is called judgment. And they stick forth their scale that they're holding in their hand, and it will shapeshift into a weapon that would be really helpful for whatever task they're using. Like, obviously, it's not going to be, like, a gun or anything. Like, maybe it will be, like, a hammer or an axe or a staff or something like that. Maybe some magic wand or something, or something like that. That would be cool. And then they are able to fight, and it's just going to be this awesome battle where there's this blind character who everyone's going to think is blind, even the uh, even the Kumatai's villain when we first see his or her, uh, Libra's first appearance. They're going to be like, what, you're a blind person? I'm not going to hurt you. And then they yell out judgment, and the... <laughs> <laughs> their scale transforms, and they beat the crap out of this new character, uh, out of whoever the akumatized villain is, or whoever the villain is at the time. And, yeah, it would be just hilarious to see. And on top of that, I think that a lot of fans will enjoy this character. Um, one of the biggest problems with... Uh, not having a blind character is often because of the fact that it requires people to understand how blind people work. It raises awareness to people who are blind, but it also gives people hope that are blind on what they can, on the fact that even though they are, even though they're blind, there is someone who even though they're blind, they are a hero, and they stand up for justice. And I think that that's one of the reasons why Daredevil is one of my favorite characters. Because of the fact that even though he is a blind character, he still stands up for justice and wants to make sure that everyone is treated fairly. And, yeah. I mean, obviously he's a human lie detector, but... <laughs> Even still, it's kind of an interest. It's still an interesting thing to say the least. Um, and I I know that it's gonna be kind of a bad situation though once we actually get to meet this character, because I'm imagining when we meet this character that they will already have the miraculous, and it will probably be the first day of school, in high school or something. And Marinette and Adrian will just be like, oh, hi, nice to meet you. And then they meet a blind hero a few days later and, oh, yeah, there's not that many blind people in Paris. You're probably that person. Like, obviously, right now, the only blind person in the show is Kagami's mother. However, she doesn't strike me as someone who would be a good hero. Um, she's she's a bit too overzealous and doesn't seem like quite the right character. I don't know. I I enjoy what we've gotten so far from her, but I want to see more, and I want there to be a cool actual hero that is blind. And absolutely, it would be best for this character to be uh, uh, around the same age as. Marinette and Adrian. But anyways, guys, that is the very first one. Please send me your fan arts of any of these Greek Miraculous people because I would love to see them. And also send me your fan art for any of the uh, Native American Miraculous users because that is going to be a ton of fun to take a look at and just... Yeah. Um, if you guys... Well, uh, if you guys have any theories about any of the Greek Miraculous or the Native American 
miraculous is, then please let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and also subscribe and ring the notification bell if you guys are new, because we do a lot of videos like this, and we've got a lot more in the works. But anyways, guys, I have been Electro Ninja, and I will see you guys next time. But on!